Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am, of course, your host, Andrew, and today we are going to revisit how to make cowboy coffee. This is another video that I did previously on the channel, but I don't think I did my due diligence in the production value of it, and I think I skipped some steps in the initial video, so I thought I would revisit today with a thousand subscribers and a broadened community. I thought this would be a fun video to investigate again. So I'm gonna take you through all the steps to brew your very own cup of coffee from the beans to the pot that is sitting right over your open fire, give you an absolutely delicious homemade product at the end that you can just sit and relax with the campfire you just made it over. So let's get to it. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and take your money. All I wanna do is Now I did do my due diligence and get the fire going and let the water come to a boil. And before you do any of this, make sure you bring your pre-designated amount of water out here. I am gonna make a whole pot of coffee. There are 32 ounces of water in there and you want two tablespoons of coffee per eight ounces of water. Therefore, eight times four is 32. Perfect. I have eight tablespoons of coffee in here. And while I get it into my old timey coffee grinder, I'm going to tell you a little bit of why Americans love coffee. This actually predates the Revolutionary War because tea was seen as unpatriotic. Obviously, we all probably have heard about the Boston Tea Party and, you know, the Revolutionary War. That is why you see coffee be the American's drink of choice over tea. Now, this obviously goes into the 19th century as well because coffee was treated just about as valuably as gold during that time when it would get shipped off to cowboys during that time. And the shipment of coffee was handled with the utmost care. So let me grind up some coffee beans. And I must say that during this time, their cowboys liked their coffee strong. Otherwise, if it didn't have that kick, it was just called brown garble. And you don't want that. We want to get jolted up in the morning. From Kansas all the way over to West Texas, you can't wake up in the morning without that little shock to your system and all the caffeine rushing through you. All right, while I have a second, you're gonna want this over the fire to get to a boil, which will take about 10 minutes. And that's really all there is to it. You can see that we got, we're cooking Right about now, you can see the steam coming off the top. So after I'm done grinding up all this coffee, I'm actually gonna take it off and set it on the ground and let it sit for 30 seconds. And you're not adding coffee prior to that 30 seconds. Now normally uh, at camps with a bunch of cowboys who are making a long cattle drive, this would be brewed in a big kettle, a big cast iron kettle pot. And they would go over there and just dip their cups into it. That's how coffee would be made for a troop of cowboys making the long drive from wherever they started and to their desired location. But we are just making it enough for maybe a small group of three, four people. Maybe they're out hunting for bison or something. Obviously prior to 1894, because it became illegal to hunt bison in the United States. All right, All right we are to a boil here, I think. Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, we're boiling. So we are gonna take our handy dandy pouch here because this is steaming hot. And we are just gonna set it right next here. And I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see what I do next. Now you're gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds because that will be the ideal brewing temperature for the coffee, which we are gonna add right now. And we are gonna dump them into the pot of boiling water. All right, now we're gonna take our spoon here and we're gonna stir for a little bit. 
get that nice and mixed up. It's gonna be a nice final product. And after you get it nice and stirred up, nice and mixed, I'm gonna put the lid back on it to retain heat. And we're gonna let it sit for two minutes. All right, so after those two minutes, we are gonna remove the lid again. And we are going to take our wooden spoon and stir a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. Because if it's weak coffee, uh, I did read somewhere that it's called dehorn belly wash. Like I said, you want this to jumpstart your morning. You don't want it to just, you know, be a stagnant cup of just brown water. You want this to have a little bit of kick, a little bit of bite. Cowboy coffee, if done correctly, bites back. And it might give you a taste. So after you get it nice and stirred up, we are gonna put the lid back on top of it. And we are gonna let it sit for two more minutes. Okay, so after our second period of letting it set for two minutes, we're gonna pull the lid off once again, and your ground should be towards the top because, you know, heat rises, and it'll push that less dense material towards the top. You're gonna to take a half cup of cold water, and what that's gonna do is you're gonna hit the top and it's gonna send all the grounds that are floating around in your pot of coffee down to the bottom just like so. I'm gonna put the lid back on to ensure that it stays warm for me. I'm gonna take my cup that I just poured my cold water out of. This should be nice. And I'm gonna pour me a cup of coffee. Whoa, that's, that's strong. All right, let's move that camera up and I can do a taste test. All right, so now that we have our cup of coffee, let's give it a taste test. And from the smell of it, it's really strong. It's gonna have some bite to it. So let's go in for a taste test. Ooh, that's really good. If you like strong coffee, actually, I'm gonna go in for seconds here. Yeah, if you like really strong coffee, this is what you want obviously this would be stuff that everybody would go and gather at if you're on a long cattle drive you'd get a cup of coffee with your meal as well but this is strong this is robust you can taste that it was that was boiled over an open flame it was made over an open flame it's really good i've done this before like i said earlier in the intro that i've, I've done this before but i don't think i did it justice uh i was kind of a kind of an improv video of how to do it but this i followed the steps pretty to the t but wow this is the product itself it sounds alarms this is a really good tasting cup of coffee i enjoy that immensely actually oh well, means it's getting dusk i guess we can wrap it up here today on saint andrew tv and that was how to make cowboy coffee i'm going to enjoy what's left of our campfire here and i'm kind of just going to taking the sunset which is over my right shoulder right now but i'll turn the chair after i say my pleasantries to you at home thank you everyone for getting this far into the video please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and please leave me a comment stating how you enjoyed the video why you enjoyed the video or telling me what i should do next thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late your support does not go unnoticed but if you've come across this video today and if you enjoy coffee and especially of the quiet down cowboy variety think about subscribing because you're a daisy if you do